welcome to your messages for June. This is going to be a really great month, a lot of nice energy coming into the summer months, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere. And as we go through each zodiac sign, you can click to each video. Just make sure that you are also looking at your rising sign and your moon sign because that's going to give you a little bit more of a personalized reading for you as we get as we go through June. In addition, I have weekly readings and then I have bonus messages that I do intermittently throughout the week, throughout the month, and to give you more information. So this is the collective reading. Initially, I just wanted to step in and just say hello to every, everybody. And the what I'm getting for the collective in general is that the card I pulled from the Beach Bounce Life deck is I easily tap into my intuition for answers. So if there's something that's going on for you this month, if there's something that you're not sure about or you're feeling like you're not getting the answer you need, this is going to be a good time for to for you to tap into your intuition and just really pay attention to your inner voice. And um, in the, uh, the Ocean Goddess deck, the uh, Beach Balance Life, I pulled the True Wind card. And this is interesting because this goes right into it. Being tr in the true wind is the natural speed of the wind, right? And so it's using your resources to your advantage because you can see clearly what the wind is doing and how it's going to fill your cells and take you where you need to go or if you need to adjust your cells and then you just go on from there. So that being said, um, let's get into the first reading and I'll catch you on the next wave. Please make sure you're also subscribing and liking the channel. It really helps get the message out, especially since these are complimentary. You know, why not spread the wealth? <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. So the Pure Ocean Heart affirmation card I pulled for you is bring good vibes only. So that's your mantra this month. Great journal prompt. I also do weekly readings. I do journal prompts for that as well. And I'm seeing currently, you really kind of feel like things are really kind of up in the air, out of balance, or waiting for things to kind of recalibrate and get back into motion. There's could have been possibly an offer coming into you, or you just had an offer on something that's making you feel like it's not as satisfactory as you wanted it to be. And it's making you go back to things that feel familiar, even though they're no longer serving you. So don't get stuck in that trap because you do have with the Emperor card is sitting on your throne, have, knowing this knowledge and this energy of being an alchemist and knowing that you have this, he's like, he's literally the four kings combined, okay? And knowing that you have all the information you need and the emotional intelligence, the grounding, the communication, channels, everything, okay? And the passion. And what's going to make it or break it for you this month is understanding that with the high priestess, either you give too much or you hold back too much, right? The high priestess, she knows what's going on behind the veil, that you have to also not let everyone see your cards, right? Keeping your cards close to your chest. So make sure that you don't do the opposite and tell everybody your plans that it's going through because it is a slow moving offer that's coming in and you wanna make sure you don't wanna keep talking about it because then you're gonna start doubting yourself and getting opinions of people who don't even know the full story. All right, I do see that when this offer does come in, you will pass the test with flying colors and being sitting on your throne with that passion, that, that creative energy, that inner fire that's going to charge things forward and bring you onto this throne that's going to elevate things for you. I do feel like you also have been waiting on this a little bit, you know, with the, with the, with the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving card in the deck but it is a solid offer. And then it's something you've been planting a seed on. It's coming in for you. Your ships will come in. All right, so this is also telling me with the Four of Pentacles to make sure you're holding on to your emotions and not letting people in with the High Priestess card, letting them know your every move, okay? Especially when this comes to finances, you need to keep your cards close to your chest. Don't leak too much information this month, okay? Sagittarius, I do see there's surrounding what you know that you have all the tools you have all the the magic and the charisma for to bring this into fruition so keep pushing forward using your resources wisely because you will get this offer whether this is a love offer or a job offer or a, a partnership offer or collaboration this is coming in for you so just keep your cards close to your chest and so also with the 
Ocean Goddess deck, I pulled the True Romance cards. This is all about beautiful, loving communication, reciprocal with somebody, and being in the energy of knowing that true romance does exist, to, true things that your heart desires actually exist, and you can have this. So if this is in love, amazing. And if this is career, great. Or a passion project, having that true feeling and that passion is going to amplify this. Um, in love, I do see that there's some distance going on between your relationships or your relationship or whether this is how you feel. There's an ocean between you, um, some distance that needs to be closed, closing the gap and um, and being open and honest with the naked truth on how you're feeling or what you want to what you want to move things forward with. And if you're single, that's OK. Go in and do some journaling by bringing only good vibes, right? But what is it that you want? What is it that you want to bring in? What do you want to attract? To You have to become open and honest with yourself and vulnerable with yourself in order to bring that person in because we mirror out what we, what we put into the universe and who we are on the inside is on the outside. So, oh, and then the uh, Island Spice is Afternoon Delight. So yes, there needs to be some some good, some good vibes <laughs> brought into this situation and some good communication with the naked, honest truth. So I hope that resonates for you. Love and light. Catch you in the next wave. Bye.